update you on another story we've been following today. And a post-mortem conducted on the body of the late veteran journalist Rita Tinina has revealed that she died of severe pneumonia. The family of the late Tinina, who was found dead in her bedroom on Sunday morning, say they are satisfied with the results and have urged the public to allow them mourn in private. The family is expected to communicate burial arrangement details in the coming days. Two days after the shocking death of veteran journalist Rita Tinina shook the country, family and friends on Tuesday gathered at the Omash funeral home for a post-mortem exercise to determine the cause of death after she was discovered unresponsive in her bedroom. After the exercise conducted by government pathologist Dr. Peter Njenga in the company of the family pathologist Dr. Micheka, this was the result. We have been given the results. We have been told that... Uh, the late uh, Rita died of severe pneumonia. She died of severe pneumonia. Where we are satisfied with the results. We are closed uh, that uh, question. A report given to the police when she passed on stated that she had a five-day-old severe fever. The family has, however, asked for privacy as they are yet to come to terms with the untimely death of the 46-year-old veteran journalist who has been eulogized as a trailblazer in the media profession by friends and the political class that interacted with her work. We would like to uh, express uh, also a lot of thanks to the media fraternity for the way they have come out. Uh, in support uh, and with good tributes and uh, uh, good uh, words about uh, our late sister and Fred. The family says burial arrangements are ongoing and the details will be communicated soon. Until her death, the late Tinina was working as the output producer, broadcast platforms at the Nation Media Group. She leaves behind an eight-year-old daughter.